All right, so now we're going to do a sketch of a quadratic expression in the form of the completed the square form. Okay, so we can identify this by the square and the numbers that are outside the expression here. Okay, so what do we have to do? It's always the standard few things. We got to know the shape. Since it's a positive uh, coefficient here, it's going to be a shape, a U shape. Okay, second thing you want to know is the X intercepts y-intercepts and the turning point okay bear in mind that the turning point later on has to be a coordinate of x and a y okay so which of these actually do you want to find first actually the easiest thing to find actually is the turning point so if it's a u-shape we will know that actually it's going to be a minimum point or smallest value of y because later on when we do a sketch if you notice the lowest point is go is going to go is a y value the smallest y value so what's the smallest y value is when i make this as small as possible so when does this happen when i make this a value of zero okay because of the square the zero output here will be the smallest ever possible number coming out from a square so to mix this expression 0, I have to make x the value of 3. Because 3 minus 3 gives me 0 squared, which gives me 0. And the result of 0 here gives me a y value of negative 4. So the smallest value of y will be a negative 4 when it dips down later on. The smallest value, or the minimum value. Okay, next thing, we can, we're going to find the x-intercept. So x-intercept basically is where it passes through the x-axis. And any point along this x-axis actually has a y value of 0. So that's why to find this uh, x-intercept, I will let y be 0. So when that happens, it's actually an equation that I have to solve. I have this. I'm going to bring the minus 4 over and get, get this. This is a really solving equation part. A quadratic equation, in fact. And I want to get rid of the squares square sign by squaring both sides okay bear in mind when i do that actually i create two answers or two values when i square root four i get plus or minus two and i'll have two values here i have the positive two or i have the negative two so i proceed to solve as the equation as per normal i have two plus three i have five or x taking on the value of negative two plus three so I will have negative 2 plus 3, I will have a positive 1. So my x-intercepts are the values here of the solving this equation, which are 1 or 5. Last but not least, to find the y-intercept, vice versa, any point along here has an x-value or x-coordinate of 0. So I let x be 0, and I see what y-value comes up from it. Okay, so when I have x be 0, I have this. I'll have minus 3 squared gives me 9, minus 4, so I have 5. So now I have all the values that I need to do my sketch. So let's do a rough quick sketch over here. Okay, like this. So fill in the points. I have 1 and 5. It passes through x value 1, x value 5. So let's do an estimation. 1 is here maybe and 5 is here. So I put a cross at each point. Okay. And I know y-intercept is 5. So maybe y-intercept a value of 5 here. Okay, so I have my two x values. x-intercepts and my y-intercept. So put in, put in. Last but not least, x value 3, y value negative 4. So 3 actually is right smack in between the 1 and 5. So maybe around here. And maybe down here where it's negative 4. So I have 3, negative 4. So you notice that if this is a U shape, I will just have a nice little bowl over here. So let me just do it. Draw it down, go turns at the minimum point here, and it goes up. Okay, sorry about that, not so nice. And then I go on to label this like this. There you have it, the sketch of y equals x minus 3 squared, 
minus 4.